Hey friends, James Clancy back again with another tips and tricks video. Today, I want to talk about components. So we're going to jump right in and I'm going to be using Fickle Flight for this sample. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick scan and I'm going to scan the entire homepage and we'll click convert. We'll let that run. All right, it's done. So as I mentioned, I want to look at components. So we're going to review the components and we can see that it has created a top header for us which is this top part. Um, it has gone through and it's created components for the search and upcoming flights. It did not, however, create them for those icons and those were created properly, look, which looks great. It created this destination, but it did not create those individual cards. So we're gonna wanna go through and fix that. So what I'm going to do to fix this, I'm just gonna click done and I'm gonna click continue in builder. I'm going to sync this to Builder and we'll fix it in there. All right, we're here in Builder. Now I can go into um, Auto Components and check and see if it's found anything for us. But for this thing, I can click around and I can view what's in the tree. So I wanna scroll down to those items that I was saying are an issue, right? These are not components yet. So I'm gonna do Create More Components and I'm going to do it on this hotel. And instead of naming it hotel, I'm going to name this as oops, click create. We're going to call it travel options. All right. Because, yeah, travel options, that looks good. We'll click create. And then that automatically created a travel option component. And for this next one, I can go to attractions and I can say create component. And I can just say select travel options and it will reuse that existing component. I can go to Eats and do the same exact thing. Keep going through them, almost done. All right, so now that we have components, I don't like the names that, that for the property. So we're gonna rename this one to Image and done. We're gonna go into this one and name it the title. And hotel width, we don't even need the width, so I'm just gonna delete that one. So now we can customize how those properties work. All right, so I'm gonna click over to this next one for this one, and I'm going to create a new one, and I'm gonna call this destination card. We're gonna save that. So now we have destination card. We're going to go add Greece. Select. We'll do the same for Norway. And same for Tuscany. Perfect. So now we have properties for each of those. One other thing that we wanted to show out is show is if you're in one of these ones where you have this hotel card, you can easily go through and change change things out, but we can also make something into a property. So in this, I can add a new property. And for this layer, I am going to select the video, that little video icon. I'm going to say conditionally rendered. So now we have a true false for whether or not that is shown. And it's defaulting to true. But now I can click over to this next instance of it and I can change it to false. And now on that instance, the video play button is gone. So you can easily add conditional rendering and styles and change background colors, whatever you want. So that way you can make these things pop out, stand out and look like they should and dynamically render it as needed. All right, thanks again guys for joining and look forward to doing more of these videos.